Hello friends, in this operating system class, we will see this access control that will come under 5th unit. In today's class, we will see what is access control and access control in SolarIS 10 and the role-based access control in SolarIS 10. The access control can be used on files within the file system. So we already know that file system is having two entities. First one is file and second one is directories, isn't it? So each file and directory is assigned a owner, a group or a list of users who can perform operations on those files. So along with these entities, the access control information is also assigned. That means the owner can perform what are the things on the file or a group of people can perform which are the operations, read or write or delete, isn't it? So those are uh, operations that can be performed on those file or the list of users can access the uh, file. How do they access the files? So that those informations will be given in access control information uh, for all those entities. So the similar function can be added to other aspects of computer systems also. Access control in SolarIS 10. So, uh, here uh, the operating system SolarIS 10 advances the protection available in the operating system by exactly adding the principles of least privilege, principle of least privilege or it is otherwise called as role based access control. And a privilege means a right to execute a system call or use an option within the system call. That is called as privilege. Okay. And the privilege can be assigned to processes. Privilege can be assigned to processes and limiting the process to exactly access the particular resource, what they need to perform their work. So currently, which particular resource is required, only that is allowed by the process. And the privilege and program can also assign to the roles, which is important. A role based access control in solar extent that is the users are assigned a roles or take role based on passwords to that roles so based on the role they will get the corresponding password that means if uh, the user is admin then they allow to access the entire thing in the system or if the user is the end user then they can only view the data view the data right okay and this way user can take role uh, that enables a privilege that enables a privilege privilege means right isn't it that allow the user to run the program to accomplish a specific task that means to complete this specific task based on the current requirement the corresponding right will be given to that user this implementation of privilege decreases the security risk. Okay, this is important. And the facility is similar to access matrix. And so far we have seen this access control from 5th unit protection and the system security. And today's class we have seen the definition of access control and access control in the operating system SolarIS 10 and the role based access control in the operating system solar resident. In the next class we will see another important topic from unit 5.